y'all. Welcome to the channel. Y'all, today is the last day of Vlogist. Whoop, whoop. Oh, boy. <sighs> so, what are your plans for the holiday weekend? What are y'all doing over Labor Day weekend? What are we doing? Getting hot. <laughs> We went out there and moved those two pig cookers we've been working on. They have no wheels on them. Because I can't mow there. My freaking weed eater is out of twine. I've got to take it and get them to show me how to put the twine in. All that mess. And let's see. Mowed grass yesterday morning before I went to go see Tim and do that video from yesterday. And um, I have to m pick up and move stuff. And I've got something going on with around this area where my that bone is. It really, really bothers me sometimes picking up stuff and moving. I have told Tim that I've just going to have to stop doing that stuff. I, I just It hurts so bad. So get this. I need it. And here comes Sadie coming right underneath. Move, Sadie. Right underneath the tripod. Move. <laughs> She's trying to get to the sun to lay down. Go. Anyway. So... I'm trying to find something to put on my wrist. I don't have an, an arm thing or nothing like that to wear. I, I forget it every time I go to Walmart. But anyway, so I had bought an ankle wrap at one time and I laid it at the washing machine and some red dye fell on this thing. And look, y'all, look at this. I have washed it and washed it and washed it. Well, I didn't think anything would come off of it. So I go outside to check on Tim and all that, and he said, you've got red dye all over your arm. I'm like, what? So I go and look, and I'm, I, I did kind of get some of it off. Look at that. It was darker. <laughs> I'm about to get some dawn, I guess, and scrub and scrub and scrub trying to get it off. So I said, well, I'm throwing this in the trash, and it's a perfectly good one. I hate to even throw it away, but I'm not going to wear it and get red dye on me every single time. So that thing is look, going in the trash. <laughs> so anyway, um, not doing anything around here after Tim gets done making his wiener kings. He's making a bunch of wiener kings. Um, I don't know if I told y'all. I had to go to the post office the other day because I had to ship two Wiener Kings off to Georgia. Well, <laughs> I, I put them in a bag and carried them in the post office and the postmaster was in there and he was, said, you know, can I help you? <laughs> and I said, don't judge me. And I was just laughing. I said, don't judge me when I pull these out of this bag. And he's like, what? So I pulled them out. I said, these are Wiener Kings. <laughs> and I explained it all to him and all that. And he said, well, where are they going? And he was finding me a box and all that kind of stuff. And um, I said, all I know is Georgia. I don't know the address. I figured I was just going to get the box and go home and fix all that and go get some tape and do all that stuff. He said, oh, we can tape it. No problem. Don't worry about the, going all the way to Walmart to get tape. It's, it's good. He said, go get your address and come on back and we'll fix this box up for you. I was like, um, okay. So, <laughs> y'all, while I was gone, he took them out of the box, showed them to the people back there that he's working with, <laughs> and they got a big old kick out of it. So, while I was there, one of the guys that worked there, he said, I need two. <laughs> I said, all right. I will send you a pair, not a problem. I'll have them ready for you. Bring them up here Monday. Because Tim, he works on them on the weekends with everything else. So he's trying to make a bunch up right now in case we get some more orders. And I'll have them ready. And all I can do is box them up and throw them in the mail. So if y'all know anybody that needs something good for their grill for a great conversation piece, I'm going to have the picture up here. Y'all check them out. You can send me an email and let me know, and I'll give you my link to the PayPal, and you can take care of that right there, 
and we can ship you some out. Anyhow, so I, I, I was like, oh gosh, really? And uh, they, they just thought it was the funniest thing. And that guy says, oh, I'm going to have a good time grilling when these come in. This is going to be just the talk of the grilling time. I'm, yes, absolutely. They're going to love it. So anyway, um, watching the weather, the weather's going crazy. They never know where this stuff is going to end up at. Um, anybody watching, please, 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 let's get all into praying for whoever's going to be in the path of this storm. This storm apparently is going to be a doozy, y'all. Ooh, a bad storm. I was just kind of checking up on it online, and now it's really showing it's going to come up to the Carolinas. I'm like, oh, great. Y'all, right down the road from my house, um, toward Tarboro, North Carolina, it was really hit really, really bad, and it is not back together yet. And that was back when Matthew hit. So, here we go again with another bad hurricane. And, uh, Mm, I'd pray for everybody in the path that everybody's going to be safe. That this this hurricane will just get back out in that water and go away. Man. So, anyway, um, off of the storm. Um, I just wanted to check in with y'all and say, Yay, it's the last Vlogmas day. What is September going to bring? Ha-ha! <laughs> Thank you, for, thank you to everybody who has popped in to say hello. I greatly appreciate you. Y'all be safe this weekend and whatever you do. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I got to get this door shut because it's hot. Love y'all. Mean it. See you later. Bye now.